Robert Streets. Hey, Robert. I have a question about creating directories. I've noticed when I use my file browser to make a directory and try to CD via the command line, I get an error, no such file or directory. However, I can MKDIR with the command line and it shows up in the file browser. I've had this problem ever since I started using Dapper Drake 6.06. .06. It's not that big a deal. I normally just make a new directory via the command line and copy the old directory contents to the new directory, but is there a way to copy more than one file at a time from the old directory to the new directory with a copy command. I know that I can copy and paste the files, but I'm trying to learn to use the command line. And by the way, he says, you guys are great. I wish you a Merry Christmas from Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like you're going to a lot of effort to, to copy files. And mm -hmm. I, I, that's not normal, my friend. <laughs> um, I'd be interested in it. Like, did you, did you upgrade to 6.06 .06 and then been upgrading ever since? Like, is it possible maybe you're using an old file system or something like that? Um, because you should be able to um, create folders using Nautilus and then go into your shell, your terminal, and you, you are, in terminal, you are the user that you're creating the files with in, in Nautilus, unless you're logging in as a different user, but it shouldn't say folder not found. So what's happening to you is is nay normal. Let's just uh, do a quick demo. I'm in Nautilus here in my temp folder. I'm going to call this RD Streets. Okay, so I've created it there. I'm going to jump into my terminal, CD TMP, and you'll see that RD Streets is there. And if I go into that, it goes in just fine. So whatever you're having happen there is not normal. But that doesn't help you, does it? Have you tried uh, booting from your live CD and just uh, see if it happens? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can certainly. No, he's asking. Sorry, but back at that question, we can talk to you, Robert, about doing recursive copying uh, as a nice Leux 001 is saying. Mm. That command there, CP dash capital R is a recursive copy. So you can, uh, you can copy recursively the, the folder, um, but it seems odd uh, what's happening there for you. And that it's saying that it's not a permissions error, but that the folder actually doesn't exist. don't know if that would be something I'd be concerned about or not. But yeah, and he's, uh, Robert's saying that this is exactly what he's done, but he's, he gets it so that he can't CD into the folder. But uh, cp-r is the way to get that. And so let's, uh, let's actually demonstrate that just because you're asking about how to use the terminal a little bit more effectively. Oh, and I'm clicking on the wrong thing there. And it is good to know your way around terminal to some degree, absolutely. I think it's a great thing to learn. So you can, if you've created the, let's, let's go like this. Uh, what is it? Uh, okay, so you are doing this. Make dir rd streets. And then you've got that folder again. So from within that folder, we can do an ls on smart optimizer, right? So if we go cp dash r dot dot smart optimizer slash star space dot to drop it into the current folder because we're in the rd streets folder, remember? and then hit enter. Now if I do an ls on this folder, it has the same contents as I did have in the uh, Smart Optimizer folder. So that's the recursive copying process. Help you learn a uh, basic command in, in uh, your terminal. Is that kind of what you're looking for? Mm 